Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video showing how to resize a photo using quickpicnic.com. So as you can see, I found this adorable photo of this puppy. Um, oh, he's so cute. But it's way too big. This is 1,024 pixels by 1,024. So if I wanted to upload this on our website, it would be way too big, unfortunately. So we're going to resize it. So I've already downloaded this picture to my computer. I'm now going to go to picnic.com. You can see here it's just picnic.com. And it's super easy. You're just going to click Get Started Now. It's going to wait until it loads up. OK, now you're just going to click Upload in the left, top left here. And you're just going to find the photo of whatever photo you want to resize. Here's my photo of my, my puppy. So I'm going to upload that. So here we go. They've uploaded it. Um, now on the left here, there's a resize tool. I'm just going to click that. And it's going to ask you for whatever new dimensions you want to resize the photo to. Uh, for our website, a great width for most photos that you want to embed on the site. It depends, whatever, photo, whatever size you need. But I'm just going to resize mine to 250 by 250. And it's important to keep proportions. That's, that's important so the photo doesn't get warped. I'm going to hit apply. Now my photo is resized. I'm just going to save it. Up at the top left, top right, there's a save and share button. Click that. You can rename it if you need to. I'm just going to call it cute puppy small. And here they've already set it to JPEG format, which is perfect. And then the compression quality is 8. That's pretty good. That's what they recommend. And the file size is still pretty good, pretty small. The most important thing for saving photos for the web is for them to be optimal size. You don't want them too big. Otherwise, it takes a while for them, people to download the photo when they're viewing it on a website. So keeping it small is great. This is good. I'm just going to save it. There we go. And there we go. So now when I go to my downloads folder, there's my photo, nice and small. Great. Well, I hope this was helpful. Thanks, guys.